What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys two ways that we can light our scene with HDRs inside of Unreal Engine 5. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So to get started, I actually downloaded an Apple from Megascans. You can see it right here. It's just sitting inside my scene. And the first method I'm going to show you is how we can use a skylight with HDRs to light our scene. So in order to do that, I'm going to come up here to my top left where it says window. I'm going to come down here, the light mixture, like so. And then we're going to click on this first one. This is create skylight. And now I have a skylight in my scene. And that's the only thing I'm going to use for lighting for this tutorial. And now I'm going to click on my skylight here. And if I come down here, you see right here where it says source type. If I actually click on this, you see right here, it says SLS specified cube map. I want to select this one. So this will allow us to use the HDR and drag it in there and use that to light our scene. And this is good if you want to render anything out with alpha channels. This is the way that I would use HDRs inside the scene. And so if you look right here, I actually have an HDR that I already imported. I got this from HDRHaven.com, free source for HDRs. But I'm going to actually just left click, drag it into here. And now you see we have our scene lit. Like I have my Apple right here is lit by only that HDR. So again, a reason that you would want to use this method, if you want to render out alpha channels with your scene, this is the preferred method. But I'm going to show you another way where we can actually view the HDR inside of our scene. So in order to do that, you want to make sure that you have this certain plugin activated. So I'm going to start by actually deleting the skylight right here. And then I'm going to come over here to edit and come down here to plugins. And I'm just going to type in HDR and you want to make sure that you have this one enabled HDRI backdrop like so. So I already have it enabled in my scene here. I'm going to actually exit this out and then I'm going to click on the cube with the plus symbol. Come down here to lights and you should see HDRI backdrop. So I'm just going to click on this and now you see it already has an HDR that comes with it. You can see it within our scene here like so. But if I want to replace this, it's as easy as taking my HDR down here left click and I'm going to drag it right here inside of our details panel where it says cube map. I'm just going to replace it like so. And you saw that the Apple actually got relit with that. So I'm going to hit control Z in case you missed it. So this is how it looks with this HDR. I'm going to drag this back in here like so. And you can see that it automatically gets relit. Now, if I pull back, you can see that the HDR is kind of funky and that's really easy to fix. I'm just going to left click on my actual HDR and I actually want to make sure that I have this in the center here. So here on my details panel, I'm just going to click on this arrow, zero everything out. And right here where it says projection center, this little purple cube here, or I guess it would be like a diamond or something. You want to click on this and you just actually want to drag it up until it starts looking good for your HDR. So somewhere around there should be suffice. Double click on the Apple to zoom in. And now you can see it's being completely lit by the scene. So these are basically two easy ways to light your scenes with HDRs. Of course, when you go inside the details panel, you can control the lighting and different other parameters in there. But I wanted to make this quick and easy for you guys to get you guys started. So hopefully this helped you guys out. A quick and easy tutorial on two ways that you can light your scene with HDRs. If this did help you out, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.